Do you know what the graph of a linear equation looks like? A linear equation, an equation in the form y equals something times x to the first power, as its name implies, is a straight line. The graph of a linear equation is a straight line. On the other hand, the graph of a quadratic equation, a quadratic equation being an equation where the highest power on x is a 2, is a parabola. This U-shaped curve is called a parabola. Now, a parabola could be facing up like this one, or could be facing down like this parabola. But in any case, if you have an equation where the highest power on x is a 2, that's called a quadratic equation, and its graph is a parabola. In this video, I'll tell you exactly how to draw the graph of a quadratic equation. It's not that hard. Before I tell you exactly how to go from the equation y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3 to the graph of the parabola, let's talk about the properties of a parabola, the parts that make up a parabola. Well, a parabola has an axis of symmetry, and an axis of symmetry is a vertical line. It's not part of the graph, but it's a vertical line that splits the parabola into two mirror images. The axis of symmetry for this parabola is the line x equals negative 1. It's one unit to the left of the origin, and it's a vertical line. It splits the parabola into two equal pieces. Another property every parabola has is a vertex. The vertex is the lowest point in the parabola if the parabola opens up, or if the parabola opens down, the vertex would be the highest point in the parabola. It is basically the very bottom or the very top of the parabola, depending on whether it faces down or faces up. Parabolas can also have x-intercepts. In the parabola that's drawn in red, the x-intercepts are located at 1 and negative 3. These are called x-intercepts because they are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. A parabola also has a y-intercept, and there's only one y-intercept, in this case, the y-intercept is at negative 3. It is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. Related to the y-intercept is its mirror point. And a mirror point is the point that is the same distance from the axis of symmetry as the y-intercept. In this parabola, the mirror point is located here. The y-intercept is one unit from the axis of symmetry to the right, the mirror point will be one unit from the axis of symmetry to the left. This is the mirror point. If you can take an equation, like y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3, and identify these five things, that's enough to draw an accurate graph of the quadratic. Now that you know the five parts that make up a parabola, let's talk about how to find them. I'm going to graph y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3, and the first step is to identify that axis of symmetry, the vertical line that splits the parabola in half. There is a formula, an important formula, that identifies exactly where the axis of symmetry is. The formula is x equals negative b over 2a. This is the formula for the axis of symmetry. It's in the form x equals because x equals is the equation of a vertical line. If you have an equation that's x equals a number, that's the equation of a vertical line. The b and the a in the formula come from the equation of the parabola. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and although not used in this formula, c is the constant. In this equation, y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3, the value of a, although it's not written, is 2. The value of b is 1, rather. The value of b is positive 2. x equals negative b over 2a is x equals negative 2, the coefficient on x, over 2 times the coefficient on x squared, which is 1. In the denominator of this fraction, 2 times 1 is simply 2, and 2 over 2 reduces to x equals 1. The equation for the axis of symmetry 
is x equals negative 1. When graphing a parabola, the axis of symmetry can be represented by a dotted vertical line. And the reason that it's dotted is, is it is not actually part of the graph of the parabola, but it is an important piece to be aware of when you're drawing the graph. It's, it's the line that splits the parabola into two mirror images. After identifying the axis of symmetry, which in this case we found to be x equals negative 1, the next step is to identify the vertex. The vertex, the highest or lowest point on the parabola, will always fall directly on the axis of symmetry. Since in this problem we found the axis of symmetry is negative 1, that means the x-coordinate of the vertex is going to be negative 1. We'll have to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, but once you do step 1 and identify the axis of symmetry, you've also identified the x-coordinate of the vertex. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, you're going to take the equation, in this case x squared plus 2x minus 3, and you are going to substitute a negative 1 for x, and then solve for y. Negative 1 squared is 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And the last term is negative 3. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. We found that y is equal to negative 4 when x is negative 1. The vertex has the coordinates negative 1, negative 4. Step three is to find the x-intercepts. In the equation y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3, the corresponding parabola has an axis of symmetry, x equals negative 1. The vertex is negative 1, negative 4. And the x-intercepts are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. Now let's realize that any point on the x-axis for example, 4, 0, any point on the x-axis will have a y-coordinate of 0. So if we want to know in this equation what points have a y-coordinate of 0, we'll substitute 0 for y and solve for x. This becomes 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. To solve this quadratic equation, I could use the quadratic formula but this equation factors. So I'm going to factor this. And to finish factoring this, I need to know two numbers that multiply together to be negative 3 and add up to be 2. And those two numbers would be positive 3 and minus 1. x squared plus 2x minus 3 factors to x plus 3 times x minus 1. Setting each of those factors equal to 0, I get x equals negative 3 and x equals 1 x equals negative 3 and x equals 1 are the x-intercepts of the parabola. And again, if the equation did not factor, the quadratic formula could be used to find the x-intercepts. x-intercepts of negative 3 and 1 make sense in this parabola because they have to be the same distance from the axis of symmetry. If a parabola has x-intercepts, they must be the same distance from the axis of symmetry. If you find two x-intercepts and they are not the same distance from the axis of symmetry, you know that something is wrong. Either the x-intercepts are wrong or the axis of symmetry is wrong. Once you know the axis of symmetry, the vertex, and the x-intercepts, You only have one step left to draw an accurate graph of y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Again, the axis of symmetry, in this case x equals negative 1, cuts the parabola in half. It breaks the parabola into two mirror images. The vertex is the highest or lowest point on the parabola. The x-intercepts are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. And finally, the y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. 
the y-intercept is very easy to identify. It is less work than finding the x-intercepts. Any point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0. Any point on the y-axis, you're moving 0 units to the left or right. The x-coordinate would be 0. So you can simply take the equation and substitute a 0 for x to find the y-intercept. In this problem, the y-intercept is negative 3. The y-intercept is negative 3. The mirror point to the y-intercept is the point that is directly across from it, horizontally, it's directly across from the y-intercept, and it's the same distance from the axis of symmetry as the y-intercept is. In this problem, the y-intercept is one unit from the axis of symmetry, so the mirror point will also be one unit from the axis of symmetry on the other side of that axis of symmetry. I have now plotted five points on this parabola. And if I join them with a smooth curve, that curve will represent the parabola. That is the graph of y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. All of the points on this curve, when written as ordered pairs, would be solutions to y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. This is the graph of y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3.